Welcome. If you'll lend me your patience for a spell, I'd like to tell you about a little place called Children's Hospital. It's a whole day's ride from the big city. Things move a little slower here. Now, this is the main nurse's station. Not much to see, really. There's a few phones, some patient's files, some scattered medicines, a few pads of post-it notes, a vinyl copy of Rolling Stones Tattoo You, some pencils, a cup or two to hold said pencils, a hair clip, some old get well balloons, a magazine that's been thumbed through more times than my cousin Samantha. Well, it must be time to start a new day. Oh, looky here, it's the chief. I'd like to say that she runs this place with an iron fist, but truth be told, her fists are weak and useless, just like the rest of her body. She appears confident, but inside, she longs to be able to dance. Morning, Dr. Ritchie. Morning, ma'am. Those new tongue depressors come in here. <laughs> Not yet, Chief. Size picking them up this morning. <laughs> Dr. Glenn Ritchie, he's always telling it like it is with his trademark sense of humor. Oh, and he's a Jew. Oh, Dr. Valerie Flame. Now, normally, if you're in bed and something's on fire, you're going to want to put that fire out. But in the case of Dr. Valerie Flame, this is one fire you don't want to put out. You want to have sex with it. What you might not know about Valerie, if you didn't know her very well, is that she has a dick. That's hospital administrator Cy Middleman. He's five years past retirement. He should have left years ago. I'm back from the medical warehouse. A hundred drawers and one tongue depressor. Am I right? No, Cy. The other way round. Oh, I'm sure it was my fault, Cy. I, I probably mixed things up on the order forms. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Poor cat. She's covered for Cy so often, she should be the lead singer in a Cy cover band. And here are the young lovers. Oh, and then Lola. Now, Lola is the prettiest flower you ever had the pleasure to stick your nose all up inside of. Owen? Well, Owen is known far and wide for his bedside manner. They're planning a June wedding right here at Children's. Now you've met all the most important people in our little hospital. Nobody else worth mentioning? <clears throat> um. Blake Downs, clown doctor, etc. Oh, who's that over there? Hey, hey, hey! Can I help you? I'm looking for a Dr. Owen Maestro. Well, who's asking? Name's Murphy. I represent the largest healthcare facility in the big city. Laser Hospital. Well, good for you, Mr. Murphy. I have the largest elbows in my family. That and a bus ticket takes me downtown. <laughs> <laughs> elbows. Doctor, if I could just have five minutes of your time. We saw the news reports about the emergency liver transplants you did at the dance marathon. I'll cut to the quick. We want you to come work for us. We have a sports gym on site with power spinning, a food court, and we will give you your own Corolla. Sounds like a blast, Mr. Murphy, but I'm not interested. Our softball team is 10 and 0. I lost both shoulders in the war. We'll pay you 5% more than you're making right now. How many percents was that again? If you're having trouble with your internship, you come to me. I'll be there for you. My name is Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, Cy, what a joker. Why, writing all that gibberish up there as a joke to break the ice among the interns. <laughs> it's classic, Cy. Y'all run along now, okay? Shoo, go on, get... <laughs> I can't keep covering for you. I'm going home now. I'm going to be better tomorrow. Bye-bye.
This can't go on, Cat. I've spoken to the board, and they've given us the authority to shoot Sai. What? Sorry, I mean, force him to retire. But we're all he has. Oh, Chief, give him a chance. Okay. But if he screws up again, we are shooting him. Or forcing him to retire, whichever one it was we landed on, I forgot. Everyone, everyone, gather around, please. I have an announcement to make. I've decided to take a job at Laser Hospital. Now, now, before you start getting all mushy on me, it's just time for me to start mixing with higher level persons. <coughs> Lola, wait. <laughs> So you're leaving? Just like that? What about our wedding? Lola, you're a wonderful girl, and although you have many, many faults, I'm quite sure you can hook in a new man before he discovers them. Oh, no man will want me now. I'm used up. I'm damaged goods. Oh, there, there. Someone might. Maybe there's a fetish for that. <laughs> Goodbye, Lola. And goodbye, Children's Hospital. Now, Laser Hospital is a 50-story tower in the center of the big city with all the latest technologies like bone rotation and dick belt replacements. You're seven seconds late, Dr. Maestro. Well, I'm awful sorry about that, sir, but there was an accident on the freeway, and luckily I was there to save a young girl's life. Well, regardless, as per hospital policy, you get a punch in the gut. <laughs> now, here's your ID card. Swipe it every morning when you get to work, and then every hour upon the hour throughout the day, and then again in the middle of the night. Well, I'm off to sample some sample drugs. Hey, Maestro, what say you and me grab a drink later, all right, loser? <laughs> social tonight. Time to get ready so we can meet us some gents. I'm gonna wear the shortest skirt my mom will allow. Well, I can't. I have to go through all of size budgets and erase all the poop stains. Oh, my days of romance are long gone. I'll just sit here and darn some of these old socks. Try to masturbate. Meanwhile, in the big city, Owen hits the town with his new friends. Hey, this pan-galactic gargle blaster will keep you going all night. Let's go! true love again, that Sai regains his sanity, and that Cat finally finds peace. And as for me, well, <laughs> I have a wish, but my wish is only a fantasy. Liz Taylor's dressing room. I'd like to smooch her up goodbye. Va va boom. Oh, sorry. Meanwhile, over at Laser Hospital, 
Here you go, kid. Have a lollipop. Best medicine I know. You know what? I'm starting to feel better already. Dr. Maestro! We treat kids with medicine here. Save the bedside manner for the prostitutes, which the hospital does provide to you at a discount if you do meet your revenue quotas. Are we clear? Well... Fine, good to hear it. And just to make sure that you know that I'm serious, I'm gonna punch you in the gut. Oof! Time passed. Three long days, to be exact. Two days is nothing, but three. Well, that changes a body. I wonder how Sai's doing. Ever since he was forced to retire those many three days ago, I wonder where he is, right? Now! Oh my God, it's Sai! Uh, what's the matter, you ass? Shut up, you face. Sai is sick with something! I think it's more like a textbook case of not being needed. Poor Sai. Maybe we shouldn't have shot him. Well, what a shame. <gasps> Maybe what old Cy needs is some of my healing bedside manner. Oh, and you're back. What's your name, sir? Toby McGuire. How about a lollipop, Toby? Who's Toby? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's going on? Where am I? You know, I learned something when I was at Laser Hospital. It's not about how many fancy machines you have in your exam room or who made the suit you're wearing, Armani. But enough of my babbling on. We've got a wedding to plan. <laughs> They were married that night with a clear-headed sigh officiating. And Chief never did end up fulfilling her dream of a three-way with those two bisexual dancers, but maybe one day she will. Tell a great story, Grandpa Owen. Wait, Owen? Were you that young groom, Grandpa? No, no, no. I was one of the black bisexual dancers. Well, like I said, sweetie, that's a story for a different time.